What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is one week before Christmas. We are in the shop today, and I am making changes to the chopper. Oh, why? Why am I changing stuff that I've already done? Well, sometimes as things start to come together, you realize that uh, what you've already done isn't the look that you're going for. And that's where I'm at with this, right? So, uh, the fender that I had mounted on the shovel head before was this fender. And if you watched that video, you remember there was like a two millimeter kick to the right that just drove me crazy. And um, I was going to let it go. And then uh, when somebody was here, they looked at it and they're like, oh, hey, that fender's kind of kicked to the right. And like I was like, okay, I have to do this now. I cannot let this go. So <laughs> this is where we're at today. We are going to uh, change this fender. Let me flip the camera around and show you. I kind of have it mocked up right now. So this is the uh, Manta Ray fender from Lowbrow. I also changed the sissy bar. It's still a gas box, but uh, instead of having the support, it's going to mount via these bungs that will get welded to this fender. Um, here's the gas box oil tank that I installed. That's on there looking good. So this is just kind of mocked up. This is what I'm liking. It sits tighter to the tire than... Uh, that other one did, but still plenty of room. I actually have two lengths of chain going under it instead of one, but you can still get your hand in there, do what you need to do. And uh, I'm kind of happy with this fitment. I think this is what we're going to go with here. So let me rip the seat off. So hard to uninstall that seat. Now, what I'm thinking here is I have a center line marked right there. I have this mount. I'm going to have to cut it lengthwise there, but I think this is going to mount something like that. And then I have the transmission plate removed. I cut off the factory uh, mount there, and what I'm thinking is, is I will cut this, kind of angle it upwards, and weld that on like that. That's the thought process here. and. Because with the factory mount, I was going to have to have like this long spacer. It was going to be weird. But with this short spacer, it'll look better. So that's the idea for the day. Whether it goes how I'm planning, I don't know. So I guess there's nothing left to do but to do it. But before we get into it, why don't you give me a big thumbs up, comment below, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So... I'm going to throw you guys on the tripod, and uh, let's get into getting some stuff figured out. I'm just going to mark this with some soapstone. Alright, so that right there will give me my cut, so I know how much I'm chopping off of this. And then I'm going to make... I'm going to attempt to make like a rough line here on the fender. That doesn't seem to be working so great. Let me rip this oil tank off so I've got more room to get in there and make a mark. All right, we're going to head over to the bandsaw and get this cut. Okay, now to find the center here. I like to work in millimeters. I spent a long time working for the Japanese. It's just how I'm used to doing things. So we've got just a hair over 35 millimeters. So to find center here, we're talking 17 and a half, a little bit over 17 and a half, like, but not quite 17 and three quarters. We'll give a center. It doesn't have to be perfect, we're just looking for close enough. So let me mark center on this. Okay, we've got our center there. 
Just gotta double check our center one more time here. 235 on the inside, about 117 across the middle. So if we're like a millimeter one way or the other, it ain't gonna be the end of the world. Put a mark on the end, so when I go to stick this on, I'm just going mark to mark. And that should be it. So I'm gonna fire up the welder, and I'm gonna tack this bracket to the frame. And then uh, we will go about getting our lower mount set up. And then once we're happy with all that, then we can start tacking the bungs and getting this fender in place. All right, let's see if we can get you guys in here for the lower mount. Um, Make a reference mark on the fender there. We got our mark on the bracket. So now we're going to go over to the bandsaw and cut this bracket. Alright, guys, so we've got the fender. Pretty much mocked up. Let me flip it around and show you guys where we're at. Um, I didn't film. I did put one tack right here just to hold that because that was centered and I was happy there. Everything looks good to me. That's how the seat will sit. Um, so now we're just kind of getting to the... It's time to make these tacks. Uh, that appears to be very centered to me so much more so than the old one the old one there was just a two millimeter kick to the right uh well depending which way you're facing from here it's to the left but yeah uh so it all looks good and centered to me tire looks good you see we've got a nice tight fitting fender the seat does have a little bit of a gap here but that's fine by me. So let me throw you guys on the tripod and I, and I guess it's time to fire these tacks in. Well, there it is guys, all uh, put together. Loving the way the fender looks. Love the little flare at the end and just how tight it's fitting, but you can still get in there if you had to. Finger just got stuck. Still get in there if you had to. Fits good. Oil tank's on there. Seat and everything is looking well. We're really starting to get close to the end of this uh, project. Still waiting on the machine shop. You know, obviously those pistons being on a national back order just kind of screwed the whole timing of this project up. And I kind of lost my spot at the machine shop. It's a mom and pop shop. So. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll be done soon. I just got the exhaust in. Uh, I'm not going to unwrap it to show you guys, but this is uh, Paco Exhaust. They had an awesome sale for uh, Christmas, and uh, I don't want to give away what the exhaust is. Just uh, with this bike, I'm doing some nods to other bikes that I've built, as well as... Um, uh, builders who have inspired me. So, uh, I don't want to give anything away, and I'll show it all when it's done. I did not do the finish welding today. Uh, two reasons, right? First of all, I'm out of argon, and I really want to TIG weld this. I don't want to make it. Second of all, we've been so busy here at the shop, my carpal tunnel has flared up like no other. My hands are just, they're cramping so bad, I don't think, even if I had gas, I could TIG weld today. I've basically, for the last three weeks, I've been living in wrist braces. So, it's really something I need to get taken care of, a surgery I need to go have. But, uh, I just can't afford the downtime, so I just deal with the pain. Other than that, what else do we have going? I've already showed you guys everything for the engine. There's the exhaust. Really, there's nothing new. 
other than that going on, Christmas is a week away if you're watching this when this video came out. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to have a video next week. We will see. But that's going to pretty much wrap this up, guys. I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And in the description box below, there's links to all of my social media that I don't really keep up with very well. And our company website, hotheadstalls.com, where we make everything for horses, dog leashes, and dog collars right here in the USA. And there's a 5% off discount code. I will see you on the next one. I love you all. I'm out of here.